Hello everyone, my name is Yan Li. The topic of my presentation today is user-centered design in animal-computer interaction. Okay, now let's jump right into it. Let's have a look at the outline of my presentation. First, it's the introduction about AI. Then I'll talk about the methods to select articles. The third part is about the findings in these articles. Then I'll talk about the UCD methods and best practices. Finally, it's the future work and conclusion. Now let's have a look at what is SAI. SAI is a field of research which studies the design and use of technology with animals. There are three aims of SAI. The first one is enhancing animals' quality of life and well-being. The second one is supporting animals in the functions assigned to them by humans. The third one is supporting human-animal relationships. After being a little f familiar with ACI, now let's have a look at methods that are used to scoping articles. This chart is the scoping process. At last, I selected 11 articles for this report. Next, I'll talk about the findings in these articles. These articles can be categorized into four ACI directions. The first direction is designing for animal welfare. For example, in the article, a qualitative text analysis was undertaken on social media posts from the perspective of dogs. And this method helps the authors to understand animals' needs better. The second direction is zoo-oriented designing. In 2015, a new interaction mechanism was proposed for animals in zoo to control sound enrichment system remotely. The third direction is designing for animal entertainment. For instance, an intelligent entertainment system is designed for cats. And the last direction is designing for enhancing communication with working animals. There are also limitations in these articles. For example, in most of the articles, UCD methods are only used in one or two parts of the design process, not the whole process. In this part, I want to talk about the OCD methods and best practices. As I mentioned, most of the articles used OCD methods in only one or two stages of design process. These stages are envisioning opportunity, understanding needs, and evaluation. There is only one article undertaking envisioning opportunity. In this article, North used designing fiction method to predict the usage interaction scenarios from the perspective of horses. And this is also the best practice for risk mitigation. There are five articles including understanding needs activity. For example, UCD methods, expert evaluation, and the participatory design are used in two articles to analyze usability needs. There are also five articles that are relevant with evaluation activity. For example, in the article, the author carried out usability evaluation with 13 cats to collect user feedback. Next, I want to talk about the future work. The most important aspect is to figure out a systematic framework to conduct SAI. Then the second point is to put SAI into more practical projects. Currently, most of them are about theories. In conclusion, I've talked about some background about SAI, then I introduced the scoping methods I used to select papers. I also mentioned the findings among reviewed articles. Then I talked about the OCD methods and best practices. At last, the future work are discussed. And this is the references I used in this presentation. Thank you.